The Middle East boasts 78 billionaires with a combined net worth of $209 billion. Before we go any further, it's important noting that most members of the Saudi royal family aren't on this list because their net worth is unknown. Welcome to Top Tier Lifestyle. Here's a list of the richest people in the Middle East. Number 10. Majid Al Futaim, net worth $4.1 billion. Majin Al Fatim, the founder of the retail and entertainment conglomerate Majid Al Fatim Holding, also known as MAF, died in December 2021. MAF owns and runs 13 hotels and 29 shopping malls, including Dubai's Mall of the Emirates and Cairo's Mall of Egypt. It also holds the sole right to operate care for hypermarkets in the Middle East, North Africa, and Central Asia. Non-family members operate the conglomerate, which reports its revenue and profits annually. His son Tariq sits on the board. In 2020, the company reported $8.9 billion in revenue and a net loss of roughly $740 million. Number 9. Murat al -Kur. Yildiz Holdings, net worth $4.3 billion. Ochre owns and operates Yildiz Holding, producing food and non-alcoholic beverages with a 63% share. In 2007, Yildiz paid $850 million for Belgian chocolatier Godiva and $3.2 billion for United Biscuits of the United Kingdom. He united United Biscuits, Ochre Biscuit, and Demet's Candy under the London-based Platis Foods umbrella to create a worldwide organization. Godiva announced the sale of sections of its Asia-Pacific business and a manufacturing plant in Belgium to private equity firm MBK Partners in early 2019. Yildiz plans to utilize some of the sales earnings to grow Godiva's cafe business from 20 locations to over 2,000 by 2025. Number 8. M.A. Yusuf Ali, Lulu Hypermarket Group, net worth $4.5 billion. Yusuf Ali is the founder and CEO of Lulu Group International, which owns and manages supermarkets, shopping malls, and hotels in the Middle East, Asia, Africa, and the United Kingdom. In the Middle East, he also runs the famous Dave's Barbecue business. The $8 billion Lulu Group International, which has 255 stores and shopping malls across the Gulf and beyond, is headed by the Middle East retail king, Yusuf Ali moved to Abu Dhabi in 1973 to join his uncle's modest distribution firm after growing up in a hamlet in Kerala, India. An Abu Dhabi royal family member purchased a 20% share in Lulu for $1 billion in April 2020. Yusuf Ali is reportedly planning to launch his retail company on the stock exchange in 2023. The Waldorf Astoria is another valuable treasure. Number 7. Steph Wertheimer and Family Net Worth $6.2 Billion Steph Wertheimer sold two businesses in 2013 and 2014, and he is currently focused on bringing Israel and Palestine closer together. To stimulate employment development, he constructs industrial parks, or capitalized kibbutzes, in Israel's poor and primarily Arab areas. He sold iScar, a metal cutting company, to Berkshire Hathaway in two stages, 80% in 2006 for $4 billion and the rest in 2013 for $2.05 billion. He also started Blades Technology, a manufacturer of jet engine blades, and sold his 51% ownership to Pratt & Whitney in 2014 for an unknown sum. His family has invested more than $100 million in constructing six Arab workplaces in Israel. Number 6. Nasef Soyrus Orscom Construction Industries, net worth $8.3 billion. Nasef Soyrus is the CEO of Oriscom Construction Industries, an investor and scion of Egypt's wealthiest family. His holdings include stakes in cement giant Lafarge Wholesome and Adidas. He sits on the supervisory board of Adidas. His most valuable asset is a nearly 6% stake in sportswear maker Adidas. In December 2020, he acquired a 5% stake in New York-listed firm Madison Square Garden Sports owner of the NBA Knicks and the NHL Rangers team. He runs OCI, one of the world's largest nitrogen fertilizer producers, with plants in Texas and Iowa. It trades on Euronext Amsterdam Exchange. Oriscom Construction, an engineering and building firm, trades on the Cairo Exchange and NASDAQ Dubai. Number 5. Mohammed Al Jabir, net worth $9 billion. From Saudi Arabia, Al Jabir is the founder of a London based hotel, food, and real estate company that owns more than 50 properties in the UK, France, Egypt, Austria, and Portugal. Taking the number 5 spot on the list, he owns a string of luxury and budget hotels in Europe and Egypt through JJW Hotels and Resorts. He settled a battle with Standard Bank in London in December 2011. The bank had accused him of failing to repay a $150 million loan, and Al Jabir claimed the bank made an unauthorized loan deal with his assistant to cover trading losses. Number 4. Mohammed Al Moudi, 
Net worth, $9.1 billion. At number three is the owner of Sweden's largest oil refiner, Mohamed al Moudi, son of Saudi father and Ethiopian mother, has accumulated a portfolio of construction, agriculture, and energy companies across Sweden, Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia. He made his initial fortune in construction in Saudi Arabia. One of his most valuable assets is oil refiner Prim, which bills itself as the largest fuel company in Sweden. He has invested in agriculture, cement production, and gold mining in Ethiopia. His firm Saudi Star Agricultural Development has cultivated thousands of acres of land for fruits, vegetables, cereals, coffee, tea, flowers, and rice fields for customers in Ethiopia and abroad. Number 3. John Fredrickson Net worth $12.4 billion He holds stakes in publicly traded shipping companies that operate a fleet of ships and oil tankers. Fredrickson's empire include oil tankers, dry bulkers, LNG carriers, and deep water drilling rigs. He first got into oil trading in the 1960s in Beirut, bought his first tankers in the 1970s, and ran crude for Iran in the 1980s. His offshore drilling rig firm Sea Drill emerged from bankruptcy in 2018, with Fredrickson helping to raise about $1 billion in new debt and equity. His biggest holding is Marine Harvest, now named Moi, which has rolled up competitor to become the most prominent fish farmer in the world. Those set to hand control to twins Catherine and Cecily, my daughter should not have to live with the work every day I've had, he said. Number 2. Ayal Ofer, net worth $15.8 billion. Ofer's empire is run by Ofer Global, a Monaco-based company involved in shipping, real estate, technology, banking, and investment. He inherited a portion of his late father's shipping enterprise in 2011 and has greatly extended his assets. He owns the Manhattan properties 15 Central Park West, 1250 Broadway, and 50 United Nations Plaza through his real estate firm, Global Holdings. He owns and controls over 180 ships through his shipping company, Zodiac Group. Ayal and his millionaire brother, Aiden, are the sons of Sami Ofer, Israel's former richest man. Number 1. Al Walid bin Talal Al Saad Net worth $16.5 billion. Al Walid bin Talal bin Abdul Aziz Al Saad of Saudi Arabia takes the number one spot. Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal bin Abdul Aziz Al Saad is the richest person in the Middle East, according to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. As a high profile Saudi Arabian investor, Prince Al Walid bin Talal owns chunks of private and public companies in the US, Europe, and the Middle East through Kingdom Holdings Company, 5% of what is listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange. Holdings include stakes in ride-sharing firm Lyft, social media firm Twitter, Citigroup, hotel management company Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts, and swanky Hotel George V in Paris, and the Savoy Hotel in London. Outside of Kingdom Holding, the prince owns real estate in Saudi Arabia, most Arabic-language entertainment firm Rotana, and other assets. Prince Al-Walid, who bought Donald Trump's yacht in 1991, called out Trump on Twitter in June 2016, saying he should drop out of the presidential race, as you will never win. After Trump won the US election in November, Al Walid congratulated him on Twitter. In December 2016, Al Walid joined Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Coalition with the promise of a $50 million investment.